The Life of Saint Spiridon, the Wonder Worker Once upon a time, a remarkable man named Spiridon lived on the beautiful island of Cyprus. He was no ordinary man. He was a shepherd who loved and cared for his wife and children dearly. What made Spiridon truly special was his heart full of compassion. Spiridon wasn't wealthy but used everything he had to help his neighbors and the homeless. His kindness and selflessness were so great that the Lord blessed him with a remarkable gift, the power to work wonders. He could heal the most incurable sicknesses and cast out the darkest demons. Tragedy struck when Spiridon's beloved wife passed away. During Emperor Constantine the Great, around 306, Spiridon was chosen as the Bishop of Tremethys, a significant role in the church. However, despite his newfound position, Spiridon remained humble and caring. As a bishop, he lived a simple life, combining his pastoral duties with acts of charity. He showed the world that one could serve God with great love and humility without the need for grandeur. One of the most famous stories about St. Spiridon happened during the First Ecumenical Council in the year 325. At the council, he debated with a clever Greek philosopher who defended a heresy. Filled with the power of God's wisdom, Spiridon declared, We believe that he is one in essence with the Father and equal to him in authority and honor. His words were so compelling that the philosopher, once an opponent of Christianity, became a fervent believer. Saint Spiridon had a unique way of explaining the mystery of the Holy Trinity. He once held a brick in his hand, and as he squeezed it, fire shot up, water dripped down, and dust remained. He said, there was only one brick, but it was composed of three elements. In the Holy Trinity, there are three persons, but only one God. But Saint Spiridon's wonders weren't just theological, they extended to caring for his flock. He prayed for rain during droughts and fair weather during incessant rains. He healed the sick and freed people from the grip of demons. He brought a dead child back to life one miraculous day, reuniting it with its joyful mother. Once he rushed to save a friend falsely accused and sentenced to death. When he encountered a flooded stream blocking his path, he commanded the water to halt, and it obeyed. Upon learning of the miracle, the judge released the accused. He saved his friend. Saint Spiridon was also known for his deep love for strangers. During Lent, when a weary traveler came to his door, Spiridon shared what he had, a salted ham, from his larder. He believed that unto the pure, all things are pure, as the word of God proclaimed. This humble bishop even distributed his harvest to the needy and those in debt, asking for nothing in return. He did it all with a heart full of love without keeping records or expecting repayment. There's a tale of robbers who attempted to steal spirit and sheep but found themselves mysteriously tied up by an invisible force. When spirit and discovered them, he released them, urging them to lead their life of crime. He even gifted them a sheep, ensuring they committed to repentance. One of the most extraordinary stories was when a council in Alexandria needed to deal with a stubborn idol. Invited to assist, Saint Spiridon set sail, and as his foot touched the shore, the great idol crumbled into dust. Saint Spiridon lived a life of righteousness and sanctity, and when his time came, he peacefully surrendered his soul to the Lord. Today, his relics rest on the island of Corfu, in a church dedicated to his memory. His memory is celebrated on Cheese Fair Saturday when we remember the humble shepherd who became a wonderworking bishop and a symbol of love, compassion, and faith.